the way of the cross, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The first station, Jesus is condemned to death. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus, you stand all alone before Pilate. Nobody speaks up for you. Nobody helps defend you. You devoted your entire life to helping others, listening to the smallest ones, caring for those who are ignored by others. They don't seem to remember that as they prepare to put you to death. As children, sometimes we feel alone. Sometimes we feel that others don't stand up for us and defend us when we are afraid. Sometimes we don't feel like we are treated fairly, especially if we are scolded or corrected. As adults, sometimes we feel abandoned and afraid as well. Sometimes we too feel like we are treated unfairly or blamed for things unfairly. We have a hard time when people criticize us at home or at work. Help us be grateful for what you did for us. Help us to accept criticism and unfairness as you did and not complain. Help us pray for those who have hurt us. The second station, Jesus carries his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus, as you accepted your cross, you knew you would carry it to your death on Calvary. You knew it wouldn't be easy, but you accepted it and carried it just the same. As children, sometimes we don't like problems that come our way. Sometimes we try to get others to take care of them or solve them for us. Sometimes we become upset and crabby when we're asked to do even the smallest thing to help others. As adults, we sometimes feel we're not appreciated. Sometimes we feel as if we accept more responsibility than we need to. We can feel sorry for ourselves, even though the crosses others carry are much larger than our own. In our self-pity, we don't reach out to help. Help us to accept the crosses that we are sometimes forced to carry. With your help, you can show us the way. Through her heart is sorrow sharing, all his bitter anguish bearing. Now at length the sword has passed. The third station, Jesus falls the first time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus, the cross you have been carrying is very heavy. You are becoming weak and almost ready to faint, and you fall down. Nobody seems to want to help you. The soldiers are interested in getting home, so they yell at you and try to get you up and moving again. As children, sometimes we start to do something, but then get tired of it. We hurry to get finished and sometimes don't do our work well. Sometimes we don't pay attention to what we should be doing. When things get hard for me, sometimes we just give up. As adults, we sometimes put things off. We give up too easily and sometimes don't do our work as well as we know we can. Help us to know that when we fall under the heavy burden of the cross, you are there to gently pick us up so that we may continue to follow in your footsteps. Oh, how sad and sore distressed was that mother fourth station, Jesus meets his mother. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus, you feel so alone with all those people yelling and screaming at you. You don't like the words they are saying about you, and you look for a friendly, friendly face in the crowd. You see your mother. She can't make the hurting stop, but it helps to see that she is on your side, that she's suffering with you. She does understand and care. As children, sometimes we feel like too many things are going on. 
Sometimes other kids pick on us and call us names. We need to look around for a friendly face and for the help we need. We need to share our troubles with those who truly care about us. As adults, sometimes we feel overwhelmed by many things. Life is so competitive and we worry so much about our future and those who have some control over it. We need to remember that being an adult does not mean having to solve every problem all by ourselves. We need to look around us for a friendly face for the help we need. Jesus most suffering, Mary mother most sorrowful, if by our sins we caused you pain and anguish in the past, by God's grace shall it be no more. Rather, let us be to you a love until death. Christ above in torment hangs, he beneath with bones the flames of her dying glory. The fifth station, Simon the Cyrene helps Jesus to carry his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus, the soldiers are becoming impatient. This is taking longer than they wanted it to. They are afraid you won't make it to the hill where you will be crucified. As you grow weaker, they grab a man out of the crowd and make him help you carry the cross. He was just watching what was happening, but all of a sudden, he is helping you carry your cross. As children, sometimes we see people who need our help. Sometimes we pretend not to hear when our parents call us. We disappear when we know others could use our help. As adults, sometimes we try to do as little as we can and still get by. Others might need our help, but we ignore their needs. Even when we're asked to help, we sometimes claim to be too busy. My Jesus, three times blessed was he who aided you to bear the cross. Blessed too we will be if we aid you bear the cross by patiently bearing the crosses we are sent during life. My Jesus, give us grace to do so. Is there one who would not be found in misery so deep? Christ, dear's mother, to be old. The sixth station, Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus, suddenly a woman comes out of the crowd. Her name is Veronica. You can see how she cares for you as she takes a cloth and begins to wipe the blood and sweat from your face. She can't do much, but she offers what little help she can. As children, sometimes we know someone could use a little help and understanding. They may be picked on or teased by others, or just sad or lonely. Sometimes we feel bad that others don't step in to help, but we don't help either. As adults, we notice the needs around us. Sometimes our own family members crave our attention, and we don't even seem to notice. Sometimes a coworker, friend, or family member could use help or understanding, but we don't reach out to help lest we be criticized, or that they demand more of me than we'd like to give. My tender Jesus, in your mercy you printed your sacred face upon the cloth with which Veronica wiped the sweat from your brow. Now... Print deeply upon our souls the lasting memory of your mercy. The seventh station, Jesus falls the second time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. This is the second time you have fallen on the road. As the cross grows heavier and heavier, it becomes more difficult to get up. But you continue to struggle and try until you're up and walking again. You don't give up. As children, sometimes things get us down. Others seem to find things easier to do or to learn. Each time we fail, we find it harder to keep trying. As adults, sometimes we think we should know more than we do. We become impatient with ourselves and find it hard to believe in ourselves when we fail. It is easy to despair over small things, and sometimes we do. Help us when things seem difficult for us. Even when it's hard, help us to get up and to keep trying as you did. Help us to do our best without comparing ourselves to others.
Revelation, Jesus meets the women of Jerusalem. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus, as you carry your cross, you see a group of women along the road. As you pass by, you see they are sad. You stop to spend a moment with them, to offer them some encouragement. Although you have been abandoned by your friends and are in pain, you stop and try to help them. As children, sometimes we think a lot about ourselves. We think about ourselves. We think about what we want and would like people to spend their lives pleasing us. As adults, sometimes we act like a child. We become so absorbed in ourselves and what we'd like that we forget about the needs of others. We take them for granted and often ignore their needs. Help us think more about others. Help us remember that others have problems too. Help us to respond to them even when we're busy or preoccupied with our own problems. The ninth station, Jesus falls a third time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus, your journey has been long. You fall again beneath your cross. You know your journey is coming to an end. You struggle and struggle. You get up and keep going. As children, sometimes we fail, time and time again. We find it hard to get along with our sisters and brothers. Sometimes we're not honest and sometimes we're lazy. We're attempted to stop trying. It's just too hard sometimes. As adults, we often feel we should have conquered our weaknesses by now. We become discouraged when we're confronted by the same problems over and over again. Sometimes we get weary. When we have health problems, can become discouraged and depressed. Help us think of the cross you carried. Help us continue to hope that we can make the changes in our lives we need to. You didn't give up. We can have the strength to get up again as well. The tenth station. Jesus' clothes are taken away. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The soldiers notice you have something of value. They remove your cloak and throw dice for it. Your wounds are torn open once again. Some of the people in the crowd make fun of you. They tease you and challenge you to perform a miracle for them to see. They're not aware that you'll perform the greatest miracle of all. As children, sometimes we're tempted to repeat stories we know are unclean and disrespectful. We sometimes try to act grown up by using crude and bad words. As adults, sometimes we repeat stories that are disrespectful of others. We can entertain thoughts that are not clean. Sometimes we give the young people around us bad examples to follow. Help us to keep ourselves pure and clean. Help us say things that build up the people around us. Help us overcome worldly desires that we may become more like Jesus. Help us set a good example for others to follow. Make me feel as you have felt. Make my soul to grow and melt with the love of Christ, my Lord. The eleventh station, Jesus is nailed to the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. You are stretched out on the cross you have carried so far. The soldiers take big nails and drive them into your hands and feet. You feel abandoned by the people you loved so much. People seem to have gone mad. You have done nothing but good, yet they drive nails through your hands and feet. As children, sometimes we hurt others. Sometimes we join with friends and decide not to like another. We gang up against another and cause them hurt and pain. Sometimes we say or do hurtful things to our brothers and sisters. We can wonder what they think about themselves if they believed everything we told them about th themselves. As adults, sometimes we discriminate against others. Even without thinking, we judge others because of their color, intelligence, income level, or name. 
We forget that we are to live as a brother or sister to all people. Sometimes we use harsh words when we speak to our children and family members. We can find it easy to look for something that isn't very important and make it very important. Help us to look again at the people around us. Help us see the hurt and pain we have caused in others. Be with us to help us make amends for the harm we have done. Holy Mother, pierce me through. In my heart each road renew. Of my Savior crucified. The Twelfth Station. Jesus dies on the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. As Jesus hung on the cross, he forgave the soldiers who had crucified him and prayed for his mother and friends. Jesus wanted all of us to be able to live forever with God, so he gave all he had for us. Jesus, let us take a few moments now to consider your love for me. Help us to thank you for your willingness to go to your death for us. Help us express our love for you. My Jesus, three hours did you hang in agony and then die for us. Let us be grateful for your love and faithful service. Let me share with you his pain, whose for all the sins was slain, who for me in torments died. The Thirteenth Station the body of Jesus is taken down from the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus, how brutally you were put to death, how gently you are taken care of from the cross. Your suffering and pain are ended, and you are put in the lap of your mother. The dirt and blood are wiped away. You are treated with love. As children, sometimes we treat others better when they're sad or in pain. When somebody dies, we become very gentle and kind. We notice the good and kind things people say about those who have died. As adults, we seem to be kinder when someone dies. If only we could learn to see the good things about them while they were still alive. If only we would tell those around us how much we love them while we still have the opportunity to do so. Help us look for the good in those around us, especially those we love the most. Help us live this day as if it were the last. Help us become a more gentle and loving people through our greater appreciation for those around us. Let me mingle tears with thee, morning for me, all the day that I may live. The fourteenth station, Jesus is laid in the tomb. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus, your body is prepared for burial. Joseph gave you his own tomb. He laid your body there and rolled a large stone in front of it, then went home. What a sad day it has been for so many people. As children, sometimes we try to keep everything for ourselves. We find it hard to share our things with our brothers and sisters and with our friends. As adults, we can be selfish too. We can accumulate things and keep them for ourselves. We try to make sure we have what we want before we share what we have with anybody else. Help us think of Joseph of Arimathea, who risked his own life as he accepted Jesus' body for burial. Help us think of how Joseph loved Jesus so much that he gave him his own tomb. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. I'd like to take a moment to thank the students and the families of St. Mary's Sacred Heart School who have joined Father Jack and I in praying the Stations of the Cross. I'd like to also thank Father Jack for his editing skills on iMovie 
and QuickTime Player. It's important during these days of Lent, these final days of Lent, that we meditate on what Jesus did for us. He suffered. Some of us might be experiencing suffering right now because of our isolation during this time of pandemic. Please know that you remain in our thoughts and in our prayers and in our hearts. We miss the connection with our school kids and families. These days, the best that we can do is be virtually connected. and We will continue to do so, so that we can rejoice together as a community of faith. Just a reminder that if you do not have a Facebook account, once these are posted, you can always go to www.stmaryna.com and click on the Facebook link. It'll bring you to the Transfiguration of the Lord Facebook page, and all you have to do is click Not Now when it asks you to create a Facebook page, and you will be able to follow along as we pray. Again, thank you and God bless you.